Hey all, uh, hope you're well. Uh, one of the questions that I get most commonly is around keywording. Uh, how to sort of get a good keywording workflow, how to get good keywords, uh, all that kind of thing. And that's one of the most important parts of uh, Microstock. Uh, just figuring out how to get keywords and getting them fast. So uh, today I thought I'd show you uh, three free online tools that you can use to generate keywords for your images. And uh, one of them I actually, I'm starting to use more and more, but I'm just gonna walk you through the three tools very quickly and I'll give you a little bit of uh, my thoughts on what I think of them. Um, best if you try them out yourself though. Uh, so let's just jump right into it right now. Okay, so let's just say that I wanted to keyword this image that I took in Waikiki. This is uh, Duke Kahanamuku, and this is just along Kuhio Beach Park in uh, right in the heart of Waikiki. So the first site I'm going to show you is I'm Stalker, I am Stalker. Uh, they have a few uh, tools that you can use. Um, I'm going to use the uh, keyword tool though. And basically all you have to do is type in a keyword. So I'm going to do Duke Kahanamuku. And Waikiki. And I'm going to hit search and it will bring up a whole bunch of images of Duke Kahanamuku uh, that I can use to generate keywords. So I can take that one, that one, that one, and that one, just for example. And then it gives you a box full of suggested keywords down here. And uh, it's based on the amount of occurrence in the image, so a uh, keyword that appears in all five images that I selected. We'll have a five here, uh, but you can look um, at all of them. And then just to uh, put them in the keyword box, uh, this is where you're going to move the keywords uh, before copying them in into your specific uh, uh, processing tool like Lightroom. You would just hit, hit that, it would pop up down here. Uh, but it's good to look at all the keywords and start picking the ones that you want. And basically, uh, it's just that simple. You pick the, uh, the keywords here. And you go through, you pick all the ones that you want. Uh, super easy. Say that's it, then I just hit copy to keyboard and I can then go back to my image and paste it in and then I have keywords and then I can cut and I can copy them to my other images once, once it's in there. Uh, but there's a few things that they have. They have options to sort. You can sort by downloads, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can sort by alphabet, uh, random. Uh, you can also see the images, which I find really helpful just to make sure that I'm selecting keywords for images that are very close or similar to mine. So uh, that's super helpful. You can actually also uh, generate or put in your description here in your title here and save it to a file if, if you want to do that. If you're shooting something similar a lot, uh, that might be a good idea. Primarily, I just use the suggested keyword tool and I stick with that because that's all I really need. So, so this is pretty helpful and I've been using this quite a bit lately just to generate good keywords. The next site I'm going to show you is called My Keyworder. Basically, you can just enter in your search for keywords. So I'm going to try to pick something different here. I'm going to try Calgary Skyline. Then you just click Find Keywords and this brings up the top 50 keywords. Um, I guess it must crawl the metadata from the other sites, just like uh, I'm Stalker. I don't know how the keywords are or how they have metadata to generate this. This is collected, but this creates the, a list of the top 50. And I can see right away that these actually look pretty accurate. Uh, the one problem with this is that these are all single word. These are not compound keywords, they're just single words. I like to sometimes use compound keywords, particularly for Adobe stock, just because the top five keywords get ranked uh, higher than, or sorry, the first five and the first 10 keywords on Adobe stock 
get much more ranking. And so I like to use compound keywords more for Adobe stock. So this top 50 is, is much more of a Shutterstock oriented uh, selection tool. But it's, you know, you have your top 50 keywords immediately just from a two word key search. Then you can just hit export, you know, copy to clipboard and you're over into Lightroom copying it in. Of course, if you just directly uh, keyword onto the onto the websites, you can you can just go right on and paste it into Wirestock or whatever you use. So that's it's really uh, it's really helpful. One thing that's sort of missing from this site is uh, you can't see the images that these web or these keywords are being generated from. I always like to see the words and the particular image so that I can generate uh, accurate keywords. Of course, there could be some extra work in unchecking things that aren't relevant because you don't necessarily want to spam the keywords. So if it's not a night image, you wouldn't uh, want to have night there or dusk, uh, et cetera, dark, bridge, some of these stuff, things you might have to um, unselect and then you have to may have to add in other things. So while first blush, it looks pretty quick, uh, the more accurate you want to be, the more work you're going to have to put in. So that's my keyworder. Uh, the next one that I wanted to go through was Dropstock IO. It's much like my keyworder. You uh, pick a title or a keyword. So Calgary Skyline. Uh, hit Get Keywords. And this will bring up the keywords down here. Uh, you can pick how they they are separated so just some sites require uh, space some sites require or so they don't require space but some some sites require a comma between the keywords so you can hit that just to make sure you get uh, commas there which is kind of cool uh, then you have all your keywords down here and uh, you can cut and paste them in the cool thing is is that they sort of uh, or not sort of they give you a different set of keywords per asset type. So if this is for video, it gives you some video based uh, keywords, or at least it's uh, supposed to. Uh, you can see down here an illustration. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much there. So generally when I look at these keywords, I see these as being pretty spammy, like Baroque, Frankfurt, Megalop, like USA, USA Pier. Uh, those have nothing to do with Calgary, maybe more Skyline. So maybe I, Calgary Skyline doesn't work very well. This is looking a little better. Uh, but again, like some of these don't really apply very well. Budapest, uh, Bear, <laughs> Piazza, um, so not so good. Some of these these are showing up more asset specific uh, keywords. I don't like this site. I find this spammy and uh, not very good. I could maybe add to the description to get better accuracy though. Let's try that. Winter panoramic imagination USA. Yeah, I don't I don't really like this site so much. I find the keyword spammy, and I wouldn't want to put all of these in, uh, and so I'd end up cutting and or sorry cutting a lot out. So it would create an extra bit of work. So, um, but every person has their preferences. So that's kind of my view on Dropstock. Uh, again, I kind of like this one the most. I like seeing the images and I like seeing how uh, these rank in accordance with the images that I take. And I like to be able to put them in and uh, sometimes I like to add my key my own keywords so I can add my own keywords in this, in this uh, keyword box. I didn't talk about this earlier, but this is super helpful. So if I see a... a a keyword that I don't don't have in here, then I can just add it in. 
and it has predictive text, which is awesome. And it also um, alerts you to spelling mistakes, which is great because I'm a poor speller. So all in all, this is the one that I've been using the most. So hopefully that was helpful. And there's a lot of online tools to explore to make uh, using Microsoft or generating Microsoft assets easier. It's good to learn these tools and get a handle on them because they can really help you out. Anyway, hope you found this helpful and uh, please subscribe and uh, stick around for more if you're into stock photography. Uh, take care.